Hello students, I am Prathana Anavati from Sarasut International Academy. We are learning maths of standard 5. Chapter number 3, How many squares? Part 7 Students, in previous video, we have found out area of shape A and B. Now, we will continue it from shape C1. Pay attention here. Here, shape C is given. We will start our solution from statements for shape C. We will draw three columns again and we will write number of complete squares, number of half squares and number of more than half squares. Okay. Now we will count it. Students pay attention here. 1 and 2. How many complete squares are there? 2. So we will write here 2. Clear? Now number of half squares. Students can you observe it? You will observe that this two are half squares. But no, it is not half squares. Just observe it properly. It is less than half. So, we, we cannot count it as half. Okay. So, number of half squares are zero. Now, number of more than half squares. Yes, one and two. How many more than half squares are there? Two. So, we will write over here two. We will write area of shape C is equals to number of complete squares plus number of half square divided by two. Students, half squares are there. So, we have to divide it by two plus number of more than half square is equals to 2. Clear? I mean plus 2. Now 2 plus 0 plus 2. 2 plus 2 4 square centimeter. So area of the shape shape, shape C is 4 square centimeter. Okay, so we'll go for shape D1. Pay attention here. Okay, again we will start with our statement for shape D. We will draw three columns again. Number of complete squares, number of half squares, number of more than half square. Now we are going to count complete squares. How many complete squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we will write 5 over here. Means 5 complete squares are there. Number of half squares. How many half squares are there? Can you observe it? 1 and 2. So we will write over here 2. How many more than half squares are there? 0. So, we will write area of shape D is equals to 5 means number of complete squares plus number of half square divided by 2 plus 0 is equals to 5 plus 2 divided by 2 1 plus 0 is equals to 6 square centimeter. So, area of this shape with shape D is 6 square centimeter. Clear? Our next shape is shape E. Again we will start it with statement for shape E. Number of complete square we will draw again 3 columns. Number of complete squares. Number of half squares and number of more than half squares. Okay. First of all, we will count number of complete squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five and six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen sorry thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen how many complete squares are there eighteen so we will write over here eighteen now number of half squares yes there are half squares one two three four five and six how many half squares are there six and how many more than half squares are there zero okay so we will write area of shape e is equals to number of complete squares plus number of half square divided by 2 plus 0 is equals to 18 plus 6 divided by 2 3 plus 0 students this is 0 huh not 6 okay is equals to 18 plus 3 is equals to 21 square centimeter this is our answer so area of shape e is 21 square centimeter clear students our next shape is this pay attention here we will start it with statement for shape f again we will draw three columns number of complete squares second number of half squares and third number of more than half squares clear we will start counting complete squares so first second third and fourth how many complete squares are there four so we will write over here four then we will count number of half squares can you observe it is there any number uh, sorry is there any half squares no look this one two three and four these are less than half okay so we cannot count this i am doing cross over here and then sorry we will write over here zero and then we will count more than half square yes there are more than half squares one two three and four okay so we will write over here four more than half squares. how many more than half squares are there four so we will write complete squares plus number of half square divided by two plus number of more than half squares is equals to 4 plus 0 divided by 2 0 plus 4 as it is is equals to 4 plus 4 8 square centimeter this is our answer so area of our shape f is 8 square centimeter and here our this question is over students now we are going for our next topic of textbook try triangles here this figure is given and few details are given and we have to answer few questions and for that we have to solve it okay first of all we will understand this figure here this rectangle is given and the area of this rectangle is 20 square centimeter how it will be 20 square centimeter look 1 2 3 4 and 5 here 5 boxes are there and this side means this side also 5 boxes and here 1 2 3 4 so here 4 so area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth so it is 5 multiplied by 4 
is equals to 20. Clear? Okay. Now, just pay attention here. We will go for this blue triangle. Look, this is our box. Means this is our rectangle of 20 square centimeter. And this is our triangle. We will go for next. Just pay attention here. According to that figure, here few questions are given. Look, the blue triangle is the half of the big rectangle. Okay. And the big rectangle is 20 square centimeter. It, it is given in question. But... I explained it that how it is 20 square centimeter. Okay. So the area of the blue triangle is dash square centimeter. Students, it is already given that blue triangle is half of big rectangle. It is already given in question. Okay. So what will we do? Area of Big rectangle is equals to 20 square centimeter. We know that. Okay. And what is the area of blue triangle? It is half of the area of rectangle. So we will write area of blue triangle is equals to area of rectangle divided by 2. What is the area of Rectangle, we know that it is 20 square centimeter. So, we will write is equals to 20 divided by 2. Clear? Now, next is 20 divided by 2 is what? 10. So, just we have to write 20 square centimeter. So, our final answer is the area of the blue rectangle sorry blue triangle is 10 square centimeter clear everyone now next is our another triangle look this red triangle is given first of all we will write sorry we will read its detail ah in it there are two halves of two different rectangles. Can you observe it students? This orange colored rectangle and this green colored rectangle. It is given. Now you find the area of two rectangles. Just pay attention here. I am explaining this figure first of all. Just pay attention here. This one. Our rectangle of 20 square centimeter okay this is our same rectangle but we are dividing it into two different parts different rectangles because we need it then we are going to place this red, red triangle on it can you observe it okay now first of all we will write that area of big rectangle is equals to 20 square centimeter as we know that but it is necessary to write okay then for red triangle it is placed on two different rectangles as i told you we have to write the statement turn by turn okay look if we divide this triangle into two not equal parts but in two parts then it is something like this. This will be our first triangle and this will be our second triangle. Means this triangle placed on this orange rectangle and this another triangle is placed on this green rectangle okay look it is something like this this is our big rectangle and i'm going to place my triangle in orange rectangle and another one is placed like this okay 
can you observe it okay we will solve it turn by turn just pay attention here we will go for our first part look we will go for our orange rectangle and there is this triangle is placed so we will write area of first rectangle is equals to 12 square centimeter can you tell me how we can say that that the area of this first rectangle first rectangle means this it is 12 square centimeter we have nothing to do just count its boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 that's it getting it or not okay now we know that that this red triangle is half of this orange rectangle so what we will do same statement we will write that area of given half triangle is equals to area of first rectangle divided by 2 is equals to 12 divided by 2 is equals to 6 square centimeter getting it or not 2 divided by 12 sorry 12 divided by 2 means 2 6 are 12 so our answer will be 6 square centimeter our final answer for this part is the area of this half part of triangle is equals to 6 square centimeter clear now another part just pay attention here it is something like this now we have to count the area of this green rectangle we will count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what is the area of this part 8 so we'll write area of second rectangle is equals to 8 square centimeter clear now again we know that that this rectangle sorry this triangle this part of triangle is also half of this green rectangle so we will write area of given half triangle is equals to area of second rectangle divided by 2 is equals to 8 by 2 is equals to 4 square centimeter as we know that 2 fours are 8 clear so our final answer will be what the area of this half part of triangle is equals to 4 square centimeter getting it or not now we have to add okay so we will go for next Total area of red triangle is equals to 6 plus 4 square centimeter. Okay. Why 6 plus 4? 6 is of first part and 4 square centimeter is of seven, second part. Getting it or not? And now we have to merge it. So we have to add it. Clear? Okay. 6 plus 4? 10. So is equals to 10 square centimeter meter okay do you remember area of red triangle is 10 square centimeter also area of blue triangle is also 10 square centimeter and it is given in question that area of both the triangles which both blue and red area of both the triangles is same so we will write so, the area of both blue and red triangle is same. Here, our this topic is over.